Did your touch screen start showing fingerprints out of nowhere? It was fine until yesterday and then today suddenly it starts showing fingerprints as if you ate pizza with bare hands or a toddler grabbed your iPad and started playing with it. Well, that may be because the oleophobic coating on your screen is gone. Well, is that something the companies do with firmware and software updates? <laughs> Actually, no. This is something that happens and it depends on how much you use your devices. And I've been using my iPhone 13 Pro quite a lot and this thing happened to my phone. I believe this was also related to how much hand sanitizer I use lately. My iPhone 13 Pro started getting pretty smudgy and the problem is once the oleophobic coating is gone, the oil from my fingers gets harder to clean from the screen. Even my state-of-the-art polishing cloth that is recommended by YouTube's Billy Mays with its 19 dollar price tag apple polishing cloth can't do anything but push the oil around and as you can see compared to a device that has oleophobic coating on every touch leaves a mark on my iphone 13 pro there's a product on amazon we're not sponsored or anything that claims that it applies the oleophobic coating back onto the devices i bought this thing years ago for my iphone 11 pro max which had a tiny strip of area that lost the oleophobic coating because that area was rubbing against my favorite jeans watch pocket stitching as you can see here the water droplet gets stuck on that one thin line and that's where the coating is worn so i bought this thing but knowing how hydrophobic coating can wear off terribly from a window shield i never found the courage to try this product on my iphones until now inside the box well there isn't much inside the box the product itself microfiber cloth and a sticker for some reason oh and also everything is in japanese so we need a little bit of technology to understand how to apply this thing properly so what i did was i went to amazon and i used my translate app and I pointed at the product. We have a case, remove it, and then drop a few drops to the coated surface. And it says use vinyl, etc. Leave it up to eight to 12 hours after coating. Use a hair dryer to dry the chemical. And it says be careful not to overdo it. Since I don't wanna point a heat gun towards my devices, what I did was I left it for 24 hours. And I did that for four consecutive days without touching the screen of the phone because I wanted to experience it in front of the cameras for the first time i also placed the phone inside a random box just to stop our popcorn ceilings from raining on it and to apply the liquid i used my industrial gloves the next day when i came back to check on the phone i realized there were a lot of smear on the screen which worried me in the beginning but it got wiped off pretty easily by the way even after one layer of application you can feel how slippery the screen becomes just like when it was first out of its box in time i got more and more comfortable with the application i used the safe to stabilize the phone to the box so I can spread the fossa properly and at one point I tried it on the side of the phone too but you know it didn't make a difference at all after four days of applying this product and leaving it to bond with the glass I was ready to test it in front of the cameras for the first time here it is inside this box it looks super clean look at that that's beautiful if this doesn't work this entire video and four days or five days of work it's just gonna go to waste but here we go and it doesn't look good at all at this point i'm not only upset about the product not working i'm also upset that i will not be switching back to my favorite iphone after a couple of tries and comparing it to the phone with proper oleophobic coating the results are in this product does not work did not work at all but then I realized something. Oh wait! I realized there was still residue from the liquid I was applying. Once I properly cleaned the screen, this happened. Ah, uh, here we go. It worked! It worked! It worked pretty well. I wasn't expecting this to be this good. Also, the glass is so slippery right now. I feel like it is restored. Not as good as 13's oleophobic coating, but it's pretty close. This is the next day. And I've been using it and no fingerprints. It is not as great as the original oleophobic coating, but definitely makes a difference. So I'm very happy and I cannot wait to apply this to the iPads and see how much we can save them. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be updating you either in the comments, either in the description box or on my Twitter or on my TikTok. All right, see you later. Bye.